Hey, it's Mr. Mice Guy, and this is day 27 of Dopamine's Litter. I can't believe I have been uh, filming for 27 days already, but it's been 27 days. Um, and I actually just filmed part of this video, but the video got canceled because I ran out of space on my memory card. And I'm not sure what has changed that my video has been taking up so much more space than it was before. I, I must have changed a setting somewhere. Um, and so it seems like my videos take up substantially more space on the card, but I'll figure that out. Um, so here, here are the uh, the mice. Um, not a whole lot of changes. They are getting bigger. Their coats are getting longer. Uh, this back here, actually, what's oh, this one right here? Don't uh, drain flies. Oh. <laughs> Their uh, grip is obviously better. If you remember earlier, they weren't able to um, they weren't able to climb the the paintbrush. But this is drain fly. She's looking good. And then I've got uh, the other two, this female and this female here, which I'm probably keeping um, that I don't have names for. And um, while we're taking a peek at these, I thought I could tell you about something I was working on this morning, which I should not have been working on this morning. I don't know why I'm not using my time more wisely sometimes, but hey, I, it's how I am, I guess. Um, but yeah, so what I, what I decided to do, or well, I'm going to try it, you know, um, is... Uh, upload my my like breeders journal to my website mrmiceguy.com um, and so basically normally what I've been doing is I have a notebook uh, where I keep actually I think I can just show you the notebook maybe um, <clears throat> this is the notebook where I just keep some small notes on each mouse so this is Pinot which is a different litter um, and uh, I just keep male or female the parents the date of birth um, some notes, what they're carrying, um, and <laughs> I don't know, they're running up my arm. Uh, yeah, so I've, I've kind of bounced around with different trying different systems of keeping track of things, and then for a while I wasn't keeping track of stuff, and I lost, lost track of the ancestry of a couple of mice, and I definitely like keeping track of the mice. I like to know when they were born, I like to know what their uh, parents are. Um, all of that jazz. So, uh, what I have over at Mr. Mice Guy is um, each mouse is going to be like a blog post. And so, in the blog post, the title of the blog post will be the mouse's number as well as their nickname if they have one. And then in the blog post, it says who the parent, who the father is, who the mother is, um, some notes on like the phenotype and genotype. Um, but the cool thing is, is that they're going to be all linked to each other. So if you go to Dopamine's page, uh, which is up there if you want to check it out, um, they're, they're not complete, I still I have more work to do on them, but you'll be able to clink, just click on Dopamine's parents, and so if you were wanting to see um, you know, who Dopamine's father was, you could just click on it and it would bring you to his page. Um, and then I'm also going to like backlink it as well, I'm not sure what the term is, but on Dopamine's father's page, you'll see that uh, you'll see the offspring that he's had and you can click on them and see what their offspring are. Um, and so you'll be able to like click to parent, you'll be able to click to the offspring, and you'll also be able to click to siblings um, is the, the goal. <laughs> uh, which it, I've thought about doing this before. I'm, I worry that it's like too much to keep up with. Um, I don't know. We'll see, let's give it a, I'm going to give it a shot. We'll, we'll see how it works. Um, I do think that um, it is a kind of good idea because one of the main themes of Mr. Mice Guy is this selective breeding. Um, I have a lot of interest and a lot of things I'd like to talk about and or do and whatever, but um, you know, it just kind of general biology and psychology type things. Uh, but I feel like the main theme is pretty obvious: the selective breeding of mice. Um, and so having the journal with all of the entries so that you can click through if you're interested in that sort of thing, um, I think is important for the overarching theme of my my channel and website brand whatever you want to call it um so yeah so i think that'll be good um another thing you know it's still it's still in progress it's a work in progress but what, what's going to happen is is that when you click on the mouse there'll also be pictures uh, of the mouse um like links to my instagram so if there's an instagram post that features the mouse in that particular entry it'll be there uh, on that page as well, which I've started doing. There's a lot more work to be done because I should be doing other things this morning. 
I shouldn't be updating my website. But here I am, making a video and updating my website because <laughs> that's how I roll. So, so yeah, um, I, I feel like I do like having the paper journal, but I think that the website will be good because it's sharing with other people who might be interested in just learning and looking and I like that stuff a lot. So I imagine that there must be other people out there that also like that. That's what I'm I'm thinking. And and I don't know of anything that exists that is like that. Um, like any sort of channel which is like exclusively sort of selective breeding and has journal entries like that. Um, I'm sure it exists somewhere, but um, maybe there's a reason why it doesn't exist. I mean, maybe no one else is interested in that. I don't know. Uh, but we're going to try it. We're giving it a shot. So yeah. You can see that the males, this, this male here, and this is a male, their fur does seem to be getting a little bit longer than the females now, uh, which is what we would expect. I still don't think even though the male's hair is going to be getting a little bit longer than drain flies, I still think that drain line, uh, drain fly is the best, uh, the pick of the litter here. Um, and actually, I forgot because I started recording this video, and then it ran out of space. I uh, I don't think I put dopamine up there in this video, so let's put dopamine up there. You can see how the pups are like they're almost the same size as her now, not not quite, but they're getting there. You know, they're they're what maybe half her size. I could weigh them, I guess, and we could see exactly. Uh, Oops, we could see exactly, uh, <laughs> um, how big they are, but I do have a scale for weighing them, but, um, I don't, I don't weigh them very often. Yeah, so on the, uh, database journal entries. I'm not sure. I got to figure out what to call it. The bre a breeder's log, maybe. Um, I have dopamine's like full ancestry um, logged out right now. Um, not all the pictures and stuff are updated and not all the links are all working, but um, dopamine is in there. And uh, I think I think Drainfly might be in there now too. Um, and with that whole system, originally I was struggling because I would do, I had my little, my little journal notebooks and I was trying to do a page for every single mouse that was born. Uh, so basically, like, this 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 litter here with dopamine had, what, 12 pups originally? And so I would be like, all right, 12 pages, 12 mice, you know, because each mouse gets a page. Um, but it's kind of, although I think it's important to kind of keep track of the litter and how many pups were in the litter and what colors were in the litter, um, Unless I'm breeding that mouse, it, it really isn't that essential that I have records, like a page worth of record on each mouse. And so originally I was trying to keep so much detail on all the mice and I was like weighing them and it was just way too excessive. Um, <laughs> and so now each journal entry is only going to be for a mouse that I'm keeping um, and or breeding. Uh, and so there probably will be, there probably will end up being some journal entries for mice that don't get bred. Uh, so like for example, I'm probably keeping this one. Uh, so let me take a step back actually. Um, sometimes when I make the selections, I don't necessarily know which one's going to be the best one or if they're going to survive or if they're going to breed. Um, and so sometimes there's like backup mice that you have. Um, and so I'm thinking that, you know, I'm going to, I'm going to add dopamine, I'm not dopamine, I'm going to add drain fly. But then I might also add the other two as just unnamed females. Um, and then if I breed them, they'll be in the, the database. Um, yeah, I'm not 100% I'm not sure. I might just add them to the database when they're bred because it only matters if they're part of the breeding line because I've had so many mice um, and not all of them are represented there in the journal. Um, it's only the ones that, it's mostly just the ones that have had offspring um, that are, are documented. Yeah, I think I'm gonna wrap up this video. This was day 27 of Dopamine's Litter. We only got three days left and it'll be 30 days of filming, my goodness. Um, but yeah, it's, it's been cool. Uh, let's, uh, let's wrap this one up with our, with our usual uh, bridge finger thing. Wow, oh my God. <laughs> okay, 
All right, all right. All right, well, we'll see you tomorrow for day 28.